Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Ninja XTX, and I'm back to share another video with you guys. This video is actually less than half the day, and I'll check out on the Scrimmel series, and we're continuing on with the unknown phase of our training. Now, let's say I'm in a boxing experience. Or, let's say someone comes in to attack me and I automatically jump into a boxing stance. Instead of firing the jab with a horizontal punch, I'm going to shoot up and do it vertically. Vertical jab. Back. Vertical jab. Back. Why? Do a vertical jab? Well, as I've said to you guys before, the vertical punch has more power behind it, and it also has more of your arm behind it. So therefore, if you shoot in with a vertical punch or a vertical jab, Your, your elbow and forearm can still act as a blocking tool. So, you shoot in with the vertical jab and you can quickly shoot back to here or Block as he's coming in and still strike. And still shoot back to here. So, boom, 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 boom. That's kind of the, that's kind of the point behind old school boxing and chain punches or straight blast punches. You still have your forearm and your elbow to block whatever your attack is coming in and still do maximum damage with your punch. I hope that made sense for you guys. If it didn't, let me know and I'll be happy to post a breakdown in an upcoming lesson. Peace, take care of yourselves and each other one world, one love. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, please send them to my YouTube account. Or if you know how to get in touch with me on my personal Facebook, please go ahead and do so there. Thank you guys for watching. God bless. Train safely, train often, and train in the defense of yourselves, your families, and others. Again, God bless and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the philosophy video. Goodbye for now.